Hey guys, welcome back. Just a little something I got. I wanted to show you guys uh, for those players that play Minecraft out there. Anyway, so uh, let's say you're playing Minecraft on your gaming computer, your, your desktop, right? And you also happen to have a laptop that you use on the go. All right, so, and, and you happen to want to play on your favorite server, all right? Whether it be a server that you own or friend server, or it's just a public server that you go out there and you play on. But anyway, let's just say you want to you want to play on that server, but any every time that you log in on a on a different device, you're always in a different spot. You don't have the right you know, equipment. It, it's not it's not right. Okay, uh, so you just got done building something, and then you log in on your laptop, and you're on the other side of the planet. All right. Well, I'm going to show you how to synchronize your two. Minecraft install instances once uh, one on your desktop and another one on a different machine in this case It will be a laptop, but anyway, so I'm going to show you how to do that and first off what you need to do uh, Is you need to install a cloud file so cloud file software so what I mean by that is like Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive, something along those lines. That's what you need to have. And basically what that's gonna allow to do is it's gonna allow us to uh, synchronize your laptop and your desktop, or your desktop and your, and your work desktop, or whatever two devices or multiple devices that you want, okay? But anyway, so what you need to do is you need to get that installed first, okay? Get that software installed first whether it be one of those two or your favorite it don't matter okay as long as it synchronizes between two devices okay so then what you want to do is you want to open up your your Google in this case Google Drive folder okay you're gonna create a folder called Minecraft or you can name it whatever you want it doesn't need to be named anything specific okay so anyway I what what I did just to make it simple is I just went Minecraft so I opened that up and I got two folders here. One of them I named is just going to be standard Minecraft, which is just going to be the regular launcher, okay? And it doesn't have to be this launcher. As long as you can change the game directory, that's the biggest thing, okay? You have to be able to change the install directory for Minecraft, okay? Anyway, the other one I have is Feed the Beast, all right? That's my favorite. So those are my two favorites plus i own a, a, a minecraft server or standard minecraft server and a feed the beast server but that's a, a story for a different day but anyway so anyway what you need to do is you need to open up your favorite launcher whether it be tech it bucket uh spigot or standard minecraft feed the beast whatever it doesn't matter okay then you're going to edit your profile you're going to change your game directory to this directory okay so in this case it's right here C users chief Google Drive Minecraft Minecraft okay C users chief Google Drive Minecraft Minecraft that's what we're gonna have make sure that you you know use the version that matches whatever server that you're gonna be doing save profile okay so then what you're gonna do is you're going to launch Minecraft all right and it's going to pull up Minecraft just like good old times no problems there all right, so then you're gonna go to, say, your favorite server, all right? Mine is the Katina Outpost server. That's my server, uh, but anyway, so anyway, we're in, we're in Minecraft, so we're playing Minecraft, we're placing stuff down, whatever, destroying stuff, making stuff, doesn't matter, okay? So you sit there and you play, and you go around and you do some stuff, and you walk around, walk a walk a walk a walk a walk a <laughs> You just walk around, whatever. Anyway, this is a, a little a little Minecraft server that I've got with a couple of my friends, but anyway, so let's just say um, you get done and you end up at your buddy's house. All right, let's just go to your buddy's house. All right, so you end up in your buddy's house. All right, and then you're like, oh, I gotta go. Okay, so you disconnect. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna exit completely. So cancel out, quit game. Okay, so so now what you're gonna do is you gotta wait for all of these to synchronize. So that should only take just a short time. Okay, see, syncing one of one, and we're just gonna give it a second to get done. Sync complete. All right, there it is. Now we're now we're all synced up. So now let's go over to the 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 laptop and see what goes on over there. 
All right, so anyway, let's go over to the laptop. Okay, now that we're on the laptop, let's take a look and see what we got to do to synchronize this up. Okay, so anyway, you're going to go through the same process. All right, so you're going to install Google Drive on your other device. Okay, you're going to make sure that you have everything set up the same way. Okay, so Minecraft, mine, use, see users Minecraft or however you have it installed on this system. Okay. So anyway, again, you're going to change the game directory to C users Morgan, uh, uh, Google Drive, Minecraft, Minecraft. Your mileage may vary, however you have it installed on your system. Okay, make sure to use the same version. Okay, this is the only part that you have to really manually do. Use the same version that is used on the other computer. It's not going to be the same. Okay. Uh, so you have to make sure that you use the, the right release version. Uh, that's really the only thing you got to do, okay? Save the profile. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and play it like you normally would, okay? And we'll just give this thing a second for it to finally get all, get going here, okay? So basically what happened is uh, the desktop has synchronized that information to Google Drive, okay? Then what's happened is Google Drive now has filtered down to all of the other clients and synchronized the information amongst all of the clients. So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go in and play like you normally would, okay? So let's go ahead and join this server here, okay? Now, you said we were in our buddy's house, right? Oh, look at there. We're in our buddy's house. Check that out, isn't that cool? So now, we can go back out we can we can run a run around and all that stuff and play I don't have a mouse attached to this so it's kind of kind of goofy for me to play with with a touchpad but anyway just just kind of testing how things work so everything's uh, everything's set up now all right so let's uh, let's go to another place all right this is just a little cave back behind my house so let's just let's just go back here okay if I can I can remember how to get back to the, get back to my house. But anyway, so I think it's is it over here? Oh yeah, it's over here. Okay, so anyway, we're in this cave now. And if you remember last time uh, on the desktop, we synchronized and it uh, I, I synchronized to uh, that house. All right, my buddy's house. Okay, so this is this is back door to my house. Okay, so let's just go back here and. Oh, this is really hard to do with a touchpad. All right, so let's just go. Let's just go right here. Okay, is this is this a bedroom? Yeah, this is a bedroom. Okay, so anyway, so you got done playing on your desktop, or got done playing on your laptop. Okay, and turn that music down. That's, that's just a little bit annoying. But anyway, so you just got done playing on your on your laptop. All right, so day's end. You, you, you need to you know, get log out for the day whatever so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave completely quit game completely and basically what's gonna do now is that it says oh, Google Drive has now detected that there is a change now what's gonna happen is Google Drive is now gonna synchronize back to the cloud okay and I think it already did it actually because this this laptop teams it tends to do it really really quick all right so anyway uh, now it's synchronized. All right, sync is now complete. All right, so now let's go back to the desktop and see what changed. All right. Okay, so now we're back on the desktop. So now let's open our Minecraft launcher one more time. Okay. So make sure everything's synced up. Is the sync complete? Sync is complete. Okay. So now let's get back into Minecraft. And let's see if we're still where we left off. Okay, so now let's go back into the server. Log back in. Oh, look at there. We're back in our house. That is just cool. Isn't that just the neatest thing ever? All right. But anyway, so that's how you do it, guys. It's really, really simple to set up. The only really big downside to doing something like this is if you happen to be synchronizing a whole lot of things at the same time you have to close down each instances instance each install instance 
individually. So you can't open this one up and then open up uh, the one on your laptop. Uh, basically because you, you start running into conflicts back and forth. Now eventually what will happen is, I mean, it, it'll open up and it'll play, but what will happen is it will uh, cause a conflict and then synchronization issues uh, it won't it won't allow you to synchronize between each device so really what you need to do is you're really only playing on you're only one person right you can only play on one device at a time okay so you just play on play on this device and then you can you shut everything down and you go on the move and then you play on that device okay the other thing is is a lot of software doesn't uh, doesn't use multiple threads to synchronize information so it only does one file at a time so uh, let's say you're uploading something to your Google Drive okay it will only synchronize everything oh I'm sorry it will only synchronize everything up to a certain point okay um, so let's say you're you're doing a whole bunch of files that are unrelated to Minecraft uh, Minecraft will have to wait to synchronize until those other files are done first all right so really the best thing is is to make sure that everything is synchronized completely before you really do this whole process um, but anyway that's how you do it that's a simple little way how to synchronize your minecraft installations between multiple devices and you can do this as many times as you want um, it, granted as long as you have have the room now a uh, big thing is is that sometimes Minecraft can get quite big. You just have to make sure that you have a, a, a cloud software that's big enough. For instance, mine is the free software, so I got 15 gig of free, uh, of free space, and I can install anything up to uh, anything up to 15 gig, so it doesn't really uh, cause any problems for me. I know uh, some of the other software when you get free. Um, they limit you to you know two gig, five gig, ten gig. I like Google uh, Drive because it just seems to give me the biggest. But anyway, so it doesn't really get all that big. The installation is only, and I'm only using only like one gig on my Google Drive. But anyway, so that's really how you do it. Um, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. Don't forget to subscribe and more videos like this to come. Thank you.